Hello plan people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name's Ashley and I know that this video is outside of regular programming, I must admit. However, it's come to my attention that some of you are so concerned as to whether or not I'm a fake that you've decided to contact the companies that have decided to support me and the YouTube channel. So I'm here to uh, clear the waters for you. Now, what I will say is you decided to snap at a redhead and redheads tend to mostly bite back. And that was a poor choice. So just to make you so confident in the fact that I am a soil scientist, I'm going to be hanging this very expensive piece of paper with my name saying I have a BSA in soil science soil soil science right behind me on this wall so you can look at it every single time I make a video you're welcome in all seriousness you guys I didn't want to have to do that I actually didn't want to have to hang a degree on my wall because I don't think a four-year degree matters I think that everyone can be a professional in their own right and a piece of paper is not the make it or break it for success however <laughs> I'm under an attack and therefore I need to stand up for myself. Now, the reason why I didn't want to flex on anyone was because it just didn't feel right. And so I don't want it to come across as that as at all, but I need to put this video up just to clear the waters in case there's any sort of misinformation going forward because it can ultimately hurt the channel and I don't want anyone to think that I'm lying. So if you are wanting to explore a degree in soil science, I can actually walk you through exactly what university I went to, what college I went to, what program I was enrolled in, what it takes to get into it, what it takes to stay in it, all that fun stuff, because I have actually had legitimate requests on how to do so. It is an important topic and the, um, the degree in and of itself is growing every single day. So. I went to the University of Saskatchewan. My College of Agriculture was actually rated one of the top agricultural colleges in the world and the Department of Soil Science specifically also ranks very, very high on the university ratings. Now because the college is considered a professional college, you can apply outside of high school right off the bat, but you do need a certain percentage in order to get in. So at the time, my entry percent that you need overall for your grade 11, 12 marks was 90%. I don't know if that's gone up or if that's gone down, but typically 90 you need to have to apply and then who they accept into that college is completely based on the highest of the highest. So you can have 90 to apply, but you should always aim for more. If you can't get directly into the college at high school, your next best bet is actually to enroll in the arts and science and then take the prerequisite courses that you need to get into the College of Agriculture. So depending on what route you take, this can take five to six years or it can take four years. It all depends on what you're starting out with. So me personally, I applied, st applied straight out of high school and I got a direct admittance into the College of Agriculture and Bioresources. From there, I took a major in soil science and a minor in plant science. Now, what this entails is 30 credits every single year, which amounts to, on average, depending on how you take the classes, five courses per year, Ex except for in your fourth year, there is a lot of field courses that happen outside of regular school days. And so you would have to, those are extra credits on top of that. Not only that, but in my college, you also have to write papers and you have to write a lot of papers, a lot of literature papers where you actually have to write a thesis. So this was my thesis right here, but these are just a host of different documents that I had to write in order to pass my degree. So this is literally just a handful of the ones that I had to do. So keep that in mind. It is not a cakewalk. It is a ton of work. Now, one thing I will say is for my degree, not only is it expensive, um, 
you can go through like a biology specific route, chemistry specific route, but I chose to go through the agriculture and bioresources route because of the university ranking. So they rank really high in environmental science, soil science, agriculture, just all that sort of stuff. So let's go through the first two years isn't too, too much. So you have to do organic, inorganic chemistry, environmental physics. There is microbiology, calculus, plant ecology. There's engineering courses in there, agricultural soil science, or you can do environmental soil science, depending on what direction you want to go. Do you want to go reclamation remediation, or do you want to go for plant science and helping plants? That's a determination you have to make. I personally went for agriculture. Now, it doesn't mean I couldn't work in the environmental science field. You most definitely could if you chose to. From there, you have to take English courses, of course. There's grasslands, soils, and vegetation. Ella's going crazy. There's soil genesis and soil classification course. Soil fertility, soil fertilizers, environmental soil chemistry, environmental soil physics agronomic soil microbiology, terrestrial restoration, soil ecology, forest soils, boil landscape soils, your research and term paper, which is your thesis, uh, field crops course, western fields crops course, rangeland ecology and management course, landscape ecology and vegetation management, forest ecology, and then nine extra credits, all of which have to be in the soil science program, which can range from engineering, chemistry, microbiology, physics, biology, and a few others. So it is a pretty complete plate. From there, once you graduate, you can then do your master's, your PhD, or you can actually get something called a professionals certificate, which is essentially an ethics board you can go through. It's called Professionalisms of Agrology or Agronomists, and you can apply for that, go through the process, which also takes another two years. So by the time a soil scientist, an agronomist, a plant scientist is done with their entire life degree, it generally start to finish can range anywhere from, from six to eight years, depending on what happens in those first two years and how it all plays out for you. I took six years to finish this. So to say I'm a fake, not only is mean, but kind of insulting considering exactly how much time I've had to spend in the field, in the lab, in the classroom, and you name it. After that, you can work in a lab. You can actually educate and teach people about soil science, environmental science, plant science, which is obviously what I enjoy doing on this channel. You can work in environmental science. There's so many different routes you guys can go. I'm gonna leave a link down below for the exact college I went to, the exact program I was enrolled in, so you guys can take a look at all the different job opportunities if you decide to go this route, and kind of the costing that it would, basically what it's gonna cost you to be able to do this degree. If you're in Canada, it is a little bit cheaper to do it through the University of Saskatchewan, but if, it's, um, if you're a foreign student, it is a little bit more. I don't know why universities do that, they just do. Anyways, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I am horrendously sorry I have to do this, but I need something out there that's gonna maybe drive the point home that I can link to if anyone wants to argue me on this. Like I said, this is not a flex whatsoever. I don't want it to come across as a flex. I actually feel really shitty about having to do this. I never ever wanted to have to put this piece of paper behind my head to prove my point. But the internet is vicious these days. So yeah, we uh, gonna put that piece of paper up there and then hopefully that will deter the haters. But what I will say is, does anyone else kind of feel good about this? Like, does anyone else think gardening in Canada has made it? Like, we've made it. We've made it to the point where we're pissing people off. And while it sucks, it kind of feels good that I'm doing enough 
to change the dynamics of this industry. So I will say I enjoy that part. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.